which is manipulated with a stick, which I don't think any of you have seen before. I certainly haven't. It's going to be a very interesting experience. Then Mr. Liao is going to play the flute, and then we will have a conversation with um, with him and me and all of you who wish to join in. And then there's going to be a recitation of his poems and uh, some excerpts from his book, both in Chinese and in English translation. The book which really made him quite famous in the United States came out very recently called God is Red, which is an interesting title.
我我就感受到中国人遭受了非常非常多的一种苦难，这种苦难基本上就是说西方人体会不到有这么沉重的苦难，就是说几乎是体会不到，因为你们是在自由的世界，中国人从来就是也没有这种自自由，他的这种苦难，个人的苦难不可能被人所理解，被人所表达，被人所那个。但是有一天，可能就是说基督教就是传一百多年前传到那个地方，然后他们觉得这个好像那个可以对天上的某个人倾诉了，然后他们倾诉他们的苦难。Chinese people in generations have suffered so much, so much. As a Westerner, it's very hard for you to understand because you are so blessed to be born in a, a land of freedom. You cannot understand the depth of their of their suffering. Also, you cannot understand the yearning for freedom. It's it's, it's this kind of suffering is hard to understand, hard to be understood, and hard to express. Then, a hundred years ago, Christianity came along, and somehow people in China found out there's a person in heaven up there, to whom we can talk to, and we we could talk to, and who could understand us. 可能西方人可能不理解，中国人的苦难已经持续了几千年。Yeah, Westerners is very hard for the Western to understand that the suffering and the torture the Chinese people have gone through has gone has been going on for thousands of years. 到达共产党手里，这个就是已经到达一个地狱的地步。这个是的确是，的确是到达一个。非常低的，就是说几千年的苦难一直在堕落、堕落、堕落，然后可能就是说有中国的传统，然后让它不至于堕落的那么快，可能有一个人的榜样。但是共产党到了共产党的时候。China, as like, like I have said, Chinese people have suffered for thousands of years, and then this death, the, this vast amount of suffering, came to the very lowest point when Ch Chinese Communist Party came along. It was really the bottom of hell that we lived in. Um, in the past, you know, we we've seen the degradation of 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 China's people's sufferings, but because they're still kind, kind of traditional virtues there to hold hold the Whole uh, the whole country, so we never was able to descend to the depth of hell. But now, here we are at the depth of the hell. I am not a Christian, but I have heard many stories. 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 变得非常的无耻。如果说你不无耻的话，你没有办法生存。中国人告密，然后出卖朋友，撒谎，这个已经成为中国人的一个普遍的共识。然后那个你要在共产党一个独裁政权下生存，你就必须要撒谎。苦难无耻，无耻苦难。中国人难道就是在这么一个怪圈当中去？ I myself is not a Christian. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm myself not a Christian, but I've heard a lot of stories of the Christians in China. I feel like the Chinese people is going through this strange vicious circle that, that they cannot get themselves out of. Uh, under the Communist Party region, in order to survive that society, you have to be shameless. You really cannot hold on to any sense of shame, and you have to. Lie to people, be, to betray friends, to to lie, to not tell the truth. That's become a common stage of life in China. And to survive a dictatorship, you have to lie. And so this becomes a, a vicious circle: further suffering, lose of uh, lose of sense of shame, and lying. And then even to lead to more suffering. 对，感谢那个西方的这些传教士，他们在一百多年前。把一种新的一种价值观传播到那些最贫穷的地区，然后这些贫穷的地区，这些可能就是这些山里面的这些人。